there's going to be glory after this. Hallelujah. The Bible says that David, when he comes to rest, and he's sitting down as king of Israel, that he sits down and he begins to think, God has been good to me. He's given me victory over all my enemies. He's protected me and given me, hallelujah, the throne of all Israel. But as he sits there and he thinks on the goodness of God and all that he's done for him, the Bible says uh, that God brings to his recollection the relationship that he had with Jonathan. And he begins to think, is there anybody left in the house of Saul that I can show the goodness of the Lord to? He remembered how much he loved the boy's father and the relationship that they had together. Now God is getting ready to put some things together to give him the seat that belonged to him in the beginning. You see, there was a place at the king's table that was especially reserved uh, for the sons of the kings. And even though uh, he was a cripple down in Lola Park, discarded uh, and threw away, God was determined uh, to pull him into his rightful place. Can I get a witness in here? So the Bible says uh, that Zippa, the servant, uh, hallelujah, of Mephibosheth, that he appears before David. He says, there is one son of Jonathan by the name of Mephibosheth. And he just thinks it convenient to say, listen, he has a boy, but guess what? He is a cripple. Don't you worry about the, uh, the situation. Don't you worry about how you come to God. If you have to live, hallelujah, if you got to crawl, if somebody has to carry you, God's got a blessing with your name on it. If you can crawl your way out of Lodapar, if you can get to the palace, no matter what you got to do, God's got a blessing with your name on it. Can I get a witness in here? If you believe that tonight, somebody take 30 seconds and give God a praise. Somebody take a name to neighbor. God is beckoning unto you. Hallelujah. Because recently now, uh, some of you prophetically, even in your fallen position, even in your crippled state, you begin to imagine being more than you are. Hallelujah. You're beginning to imagine yourself outside of Lodabar. Hallelujah. And God is putting together this thing. Can I get a witness in here? Uh, you beginning to think, uh, maybe I don't have to be what people said I have. And I know I'm not responsible for what happened to me. Hallelujah. But I just can't stay in this situation that I'm in. And maybe if I go see what the king wants, uh, he may want to kill me. And I'm not sure about it. But I'm determined. I'm fed up in Lola Park. I'll take my chances before the king. Can I get a witness in here? Some of you have been in Lola Park so long that you're afraid to dream. You're afraid to hope to be anything other than you've been to this point. But God has something. He has an assignment and a destiny and a purpose for your life. But you'll never find out what it is if you don't get yourself up out of Lodabar. It's not the place for you. It's not the end for you. God doesn't intend for you to die in mediocrity. But he has greatness on your life. And you've got to get up and move. The Bible says oh, that they carry him in because he can't walk, because he's affected by his ailment. But they lay him before the king. And the Bible says that he lays out, he prostrates himself before the king of Israel. Hallelujah. And David, the first thing he said, listen, he said, don't be afraid. See, some of you are afraid to succeed. 
You're afraid to dream again. You're afraid somebody else is going to drop you. That kind of pain, it hurts. Makes us afraid to try again. The Bible says God has a purpose in bringing him up out of Lodabar. Can I read the scripture? Hallelujah. The Bible says the king called to Zippa. Hallelujah. In verse 7 it says, David said to him, Fear not, for I will surely show you kindness for Jonathan, your father's sake. And I will restore to you all the land of Saul, your father. And you will eat at my table always. And the Bible says that he bowed down himself and said, What is your servant that you should look upon such, such a dead dog as I am? His perception hasn't changed yet. But guess what? God sees more in you than you see in yourself. Hallelujah. You'll see you're created in his image and his likeness. And what he wanted, to, thank you, Lord. How did I see that? He wanted to get him out of Lodabar because he didn't know who he was. Lodabar has tricked you. It's fooled you into believing that you're just some thrown away oh, old nobody that nobody cares about. But David gave him a picture of his royalty. He was a royal blood. And David brings them into the environment around princes and kings to give him a vision and the image 